Welcome, guys. It is the Axeman here, and we are back on Ark Survival Evolved with some more taming every single creature in Ark. We have nothing better to do with our lives. Yeah, boy. And today, I am really excited because we're doing the Lymantria, the big giant moth dude. And originally, I was going to place it in here because it's an insect. This is my little insect uh, section going on down here. But someone commented and gave me a really good idea. And I would love to credit you, but I can't find the comment anymore. Uh, maybe I'm just blind. But someone suggested that we build uh, like a, it's going to be hard to explain, but like a, a tall glass tower with a tree at the center, lots of colorful lights and the, the moth can like fly around it. So what I've done, remember this little section here? This is where the Yankees were. This is the worst enclosure that I've built. It is awful. It is terrible. So I've moved the Yankees. The Yankees are now up in the Highlands. I've not uh, decorated their enclosure yet, so I'm not going to show it off. But it's just uh, a little section up with some rocks right now. So they've moved up to here. So now we're left with this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove um, the, the, the railings, the gate things here. I might keep the shape. I might make it a bit bigger. But we're going to remove the railings and we're going to build glass, kind of like uh, there. We're going to build glass really high up. We're going to have a tree in the middle. I'm going to fill it with like aberration and bioluminescent uh, plants, flowers, mushrooms and stuff. And then I'm going to have a comp inside. And we're going to have the Lymantria follow the compa. And then that should mean that the Lymantria will fly around or two Lymantrias will be flying around rather than walking around. And I feel like that's going to set the mood as you walk into the park because you want like a big grand entrance as you walk in, right? Like you walk into the park right now, you've got the, the Kevin shrine, you've got some like nice stuff going on, some decorations, and then you're greeted with this. It's pretty awful. So we're going to make that a bit more beautiful today. So we're going to head to the desert. We're going to get one or two Lymantrias. We're just going to go for the net gun. We're going to knock them out with our OP gun. It should be really easy, really quick. Uh, and then we're going to get onto the decorating and stuff, which I'm really, really looking forward to. So before we do head out, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you're whacking a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell. Follow the social medias, all that stuff. Share the video as well because for some reason, YouTube doesn't like this series. And I know you lot do, but YouTube doesn't. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't push it out there as uh, it does with all the other videos. So it's kind of down to you. You lot are a key to get these videos forming a bit better. The more they perform, the more motivation I have to do them. So uh, yeah, <laughs> it's all in your hands, everyone. No pressure, no pressure at all. Uh, but yeah, just leave a comment or something to just help the algorithm. Um, right, so let's go and grab good old Kevin. Kevin, we're gonna go to the desert today. Are you looking forward to that? It could be dangerous. So I guess what we need to do, something we've not done in a while. We need to do the Kevin ritual. If you've never done this before, I'm going to show you how. So, you got to get your hands. Okay, game. Just move me sideways for no reason at all. <laughs> get your hands. Put them out in front of you and pretend you're grabbing hold of Kevin. And say, Kevin, you are the greatest horse to ever walk the lands of Ark. We love you. We worship you. And then just give him a little kiss on his nose. Mwah. There we go. And that stops Kevin dying. The one time we didn't do that, I'm pretty sure the wolves got him. So, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do then, I will head over to the desert and I will bring you back in a little second when we find us a moth. Right, we're here in the desert. I've already found a Lymantria just down here, kind of like down by the, the rice fields. Was that a camper that just went into the water then? I saw something just go into the water and that was kind of terrifying. I don't have a spyglass on, mate. You know what? We're just going to risk it for the biscuit and hope it wasn't. All right, boom. You are in there like so. And we're going to shoot you there. Level 66 male. So, yeah, these dudes... Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, bugs. Can we not maybe? I'm just trying to knock some out. These dudes are really easy to tame out. Normally, you just use a bowler. Right, there's that knocked out. You normally just use a bowler, pepper it with darts. I wouldn't use a crossbow. They uh, tend to kill them because they don't really have high health. All right, bugs. Any more? There's always more. No, there's always more than two. There's got to be some more bugs somewhere. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, they're honestly, they're as easy as that to knock out. Right, I need some berries to feed them. 
All right, and boom, got some of them. I'm going to pop some of them into you, and you should start eating relatively quickly. I don't think I'm going to need any narcotics on you, right? I don't think so. Right, let's keep your track run. Let's see if we can just find another one within this, uh, like, sort of area. They, they kind of just spawn... Because we're on Ragnarok, if, uh, for those of you who don't know. They kind of just spawn anywhere that's desert-y with, like, a few trees and stuff. So there, sh there should be another one around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. There's a couple over there. Uh, but, yeah, cat pros do live around here. I've definitely seen them before. Um, I've never seen this weird floor, though. Why is there a weird floor? <laughs> it's like someone didn't finish building. All right, Lymantria. Let me get you. And boom. There's that. This is a female. Level 24. Hell yeah. We got mate boosted ones. All right. Honestly, we might only need the one to knock you out. Maybe two. There we go. Perfect. Right. That's them both down. Let's grab a few more berries. And boom, there's your berries in there. Right, so that's them both taming up now. This will take a little bit of time. So what we'll do, we'll wait for them to tame up and I will crypod them or soul ball them. We'll go back home and we're going to start creating... Oh, that's a raptor coming up here. Well, uh, that's two raptors coming up here. Kevin, we're going to be fine, right? Let's don't... Oh, there's three raptors. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 boys. All of you over here, please, because I don't trust you near my moths. Okay, there's one sleeping. There's another one running away. Uh, okay, and that's how you deal with them. I guess I'll just chase them down and kill them. But yeah, I'll bring you back once we're home and we're ready to uh, demolish what we had and start anew. All right, so I've just demolished the railings. I might keep everything that's here. Uh, maybe not this big rock. I might keep everything else that's in here because I feel like that does fit with a desert vibe. Um, and then obviously we can add all the colorful plants and the trees and stuff. Uh, right, so what we need to do first, we need to find the perfect tree. So it's got to be summer that's going to be, I guess, kind of like one of these redwood trees here. It needs to be like a tall and thin one that just goes straight up. We can't have one that's veering to the side because it has to fit in that little section. Uh, do we have one in eco wonderlands at all uh these ones branch out a bit too much um hmm. what about aberration we have to get that perfect tree small redwood tree how small is a small redwood tree because i don't trust that uh, I, I guarantee this is going to be huge yeah that it does that look small to you that that doesn't look too small to me man I feel like I've just been lied to. <laughs> um, uh, um, um, how about one... Ooh. A decorative tree or a large catpock tree. Uh, can I make one of them? Can I make one of these? I don't expect to get one from Extinction. Like, I don't expect them ones to be the good ones. But let's have a quick ganders. Um interesting hang on hang on if I, I don't know if that's center okay i feel like we may have found the one i want that's kind of perfect this one though oh i don't know man i like that i like that a lot what if uh i place this one that one branches out a bit more mm, no i like the first one that's not a bad tree though i gotta remember that tree exists that, that one. That is beautiful. All right. Uh, let's see if I can get this sort of center. Because otherwise it's going to drive everyone nuts. Um, right. That, you know what? That's not bad. Is that centered? Maybe more over this way? That's looking pretty decent. Okay. That looks all right to me. Right, so there's the centerpiece tree then. I think that's going to work. So what I'm going to do right now, let me just add uh, the walls. So I guess we need... Right, we can either add these ones that are 12 high. Is that going to be too high? Or we have the ones that are just 4 high. And I might need two of them. 
Hmm, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Honestly, the 12 one, because it's just going to be so much easier just to uh, make it all look one, right? So if I was to go 12 all around the side, obviously, remember, these would all be, like, connected into one. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, because that's, like, the size of the tree. All right, so let's place these around. I may remove some of the little ferns that are on the ground. Like I said, I do want to keep a kind of the scorched earth vibe, but I don't know, man. No, that looks good. That looks good. So what I'll do, obviously, we'll make that so it all looks like it's one panel of glass all the way around, and we'll make it, like, transparency a bit like that. But, yeah, that works. That works. Like, imagine walking into a park, and then you have, like, this beautiful exhibit that'll be just here. Hell yeah. All right. What we need, then, we need some um plants we need we need like some shiny stuff oh you know what? i do need to add fireflies in there and maybe some of these lanterns or something so eco wonderlands <laughs> let's get into here eco wonderlands has a lot of bright aberration -y type stuff uh so we have like the royal grass which is always good let's make a handful of them uh the trees are gonna be too big if i can fit that trunk in though that would be amazing. I can't remember how big that is, but that's full of mushrooms and stuff. Oh, I think we can fit that in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Let's have that, like, maybe up against here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. And then we have this grass. So this isn't exactly... Um, bright and shiny and stuff but we'll definitely make some more of this but it adds color it adds some color into here because we want all the pinks all the purples all the stuff like that like already that's added color just them five little bit of purpley grass there is the added color already so we're gonna make some more of them and then there's also the cyan grass so i'm gonna add a bunch of that then we do have these artifact flowers which i do believe glow a little so if we can make a handful of them as well. Um, hmm. I think these plants are good. I'll make a handful of them and test them out. That's going to hide the compi running around. Uh, oh, purple heart. I like the sound of that. Let's make a handful of them. So this is just going to be covering uh, the bottom for us. Uh, I don't know if I want mushrooms. I don't really feel like the mushrooms fit the moth vibe too much. I mean, I guess moths live at night. Mushrooms are connected, like, to nighttime and stuff. I don't know. Let's just place all these plants first. Let's see what this looks like. Um, aberration plants do glow a bit. Uh, I do always like this tall fern. I'm just going to make three of them and pop them in, maybe. Right, so let's add some more of this grass. Just kind of uh, jot it around everywhere. Maybe just some, like, under the tree here. So that's all the royal ones. So we do have this cyan one, which should kind of just add that little bit more color. Have that there. Have one right at the front. Let's have one to the tree there. And we have one more. What are we saying? Maybe just behind this log. Uh, oh, no, we still have another one. Uh, let's have it this side of the log. Perfect. So yeah, that's just going to add that little bit more color. And then we have these artificial ones, which, like I said, these glow. Obviously, they'll brighten the place up, but adding that glow, especially when it's nighttime, I think will just be uh, amazing. So we're going to have this this side, this one over here. I'm glad the, I kept the rocks in here. I feel like they're going to break things up a little bit as well. Awesome. And then we have, so we have a small one of these and we do have the large one. I just wanted to see the size difference. Hmm, okay. I might... Oh, you know what? I like that, you know. That's going to fit into these big spaces here. I'm just going to put two of the large ones. And then we have the smaller ones just here. So this just kind of fills the little sections, you know, where it's just kind of all bare. All right. And we do have this purple heart flower, which we're going to add. And then maybe one more near this rock like so and then the tall fern which again it glows and if we can add this um, maybe one here i don't want it to block out them plants too much definitely need some of it over here like so and then maybe one more all right 
Let's have a look at that then. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's looking pretty colourful right now. Um, maybe some up front here. I like the the mix between colourful, crazy plant, and then just kind of the the natural fern plants and the rocks in there. I was gonna say I feel like we need some lights up top. Maybe we do. Maybe I'll do that after. Um, right, let me just add one or two crystals. Um, how big are you? Let me have a look at your crystals. I think these one. This is a tall one. Um, how about? Let's have a purple and a pink. How tall is tall? Okay, no, that might work. Just to add some of that's not rock and that's not plants. Maybe we can just hide that behind there. And then this one can go the other side near the tree. Okay. It's red, not pink, but whatever. That's just going to add a little bit more colour. Right, let me just get the windows all connected to one and the transparency done. And we can have a, a little bit of a better look at what this looks like. All right, there we go then. So that's what that will look like. Now we've actually got like the glass and it's all like transparent. Uh, it's all into one kind of glass pane there. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to get the dudes knocking about in here so we can see. I do feel like I may want to attach some light somewhere. I want the fireflies definitely around the tree. Um, maybe, I don't know. I definitely feel like we need a bit more light. Maybe one or two more plants. There's like an empty spot just here. Uh, I think we can fit in a couple more things just there. All right, I'm back. Um, so I've got the moths in there. Uh, I've got one that's flying and it's following the one that's walking around. I, uh, I don't, am I dumb? Am I just like really dumb right now? I thought, <laughs> so I wanted these to follow compies around. But in order to have something follow something, you have to ride the compy and tell them to follow me. How do I tell a moth to follow another creature? I feel like I'm being massively stupid here and this is something that you can do in Ark. But I can't remember how. Like, if I wanted Kevin to follow a dodo, I just get on him. No, but then if I whistle to the dodo, the dodo follows me. I don't know how I'd get him to follow a dodo. Is that even possible? I feel like I'm being dumb. If if someone knows, please let me know. Because I feel like I'm being massively stupid here. Um, but anyways, we'll get... You know, we'll have a look at that in the future, I guess. But right now, there's two moths. So yeah, one's walking around. The other one's kind of just uh, following it in the air. Which I guess kind of works a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like right now. So we just need to lighten it up a little bit. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to add some fireflies. So if we actually come... Up into here, let's have a look at our light section. Oh, actually, you know what I do want to add in here? We do have these. We have these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. We want some cyan colors. Do we have metal in here? Let's have, let's have three of them. And then let's get three purple ones of them. They're going to light up the ground. But yeah, if we come up into our little workshop up here up here we do have uh, the light workbench so if we have some wall lights what we got i feel like adding some of these lanterns might if we have them just maybe around the top uh what size is a small one is it the size of a wall is what i want to find out uh believe so uh, more or less, if we have them all around the top, like, how many of them am I going to need? A lot of them. If we can have that. That's going to make things really bright. Right, so I'm just going to make a whole bunch of them. Uh, what else we got? Floor lights. Uh, that's what I want. I want my glow bugs. Uh, all right, let's add these, these lights and then let's see um, how that looks, especially now it is nighttime. Right, I've added the lights then. So, I feel like it does work. So, I've got all the lights around the top. I would love if we could added some of them into the tree. But, yeah, we've got the lights at the top. I've added little lights uh, along the bottom, which we can't really see because there's a floodlight somewhere. If I remove this floodlight, um, is that a bit better? Oh, oh, that's way better. 
Okay, yeah, we can really see like the stuff glowing at the bottom there. We have the glow bugs, the fireflies all around. We've got the lights up top, which lights up the tree a little bit. Yeah, if we can find some of the goes on the trunk of that tree, just to give us some light in the middle of it, because we've got light at the bottom, we have light at the top. We just need summer uh, in the middle. If I can find some of the goes there, that looks cool. Okay. Maybe just a single colored wall lantern. If we can just get a couple of them, maybe around it. I'm not sure if the small ones will fit. If I just made eight of them for whatever reason, I don't know if I can change the color of that. That could work. <sighs> the only issue is we can't attach that to this. Um, Unless I... Hmm. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Can't attach that there either. So what I'm going to have to do is place an invisible wall between that. Oh, no. That's that's a bummer, man. All right. Let me just see what I can work with here. All right. I've worked my magic as best I could. So there are invisible ceilings and walls where that tree is so what i've tried to make it look like because i can't actually put the lanterns like attached to the tree trunk but i've tried to make it look like they're attached to like the branches uh from here you can't really see it which makes it look good but you can see the color on the tree so i think that looks all right but yeah they look a little bit like they're floating but i feel like you know from the back here that we've got color at the top Got a bit of colour in the middle, and then we've got all the colour uh, down around here. And I want to say, I really like that idea. So the person that suggested that, well done to you. I feel like I've executed that as best as I can with uh, the ARC resources that we have uh, available to us. But that's really pretty. I do feel like I need a little something here. Maybe some benches to sit on. I might have to build like a little uh, seating area just here because now we have a big open area. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I could do that in my spare time. But yeah, there is the like, mantry then. So, uh, you know, also it fits in a lot better with the aberration creatures. So in here, we've got the bulb dog, uh, glow tail and whatever else is in there. I forget. So we've got like that little vibe going on. Awesome stuff. Right. We're going to end it there then. Um, I may add little bits as I go along. Kind of like I do with a lot of enclosures. I can always go back and revisit it. But uh, yeah, you'll have to let me know what you think of it. Also, how do I get a, a moth to follow a compet if that is even possible? I feel like it is. And I'm just being massively stupid. Like it's one of them really simple things. But I've not done it in so long that I've just forgotten how to do that. So uh, yeah, <laughs> let me know please. But, uh, oh god, we're well zoomed out. But, uh, yeah, if you did enjoy today's episode, make sure you are whacking a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribing, you ring the bell, enabling notifications, all that good stuff, remember. You lot are in charge. You lot are in command of how well this video performs. So if it does badly, I get to blame you lot. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, thank you very much for hanging out. I'll catch you in a bit. See you later.